The Built Active Plus shorts. So these shorts have been heavily in my rotation lately and I've been using them a lot for my strength training. So three pros that I have with these shorts include number one, the shell has a nice level of mobility to it. So I have been rocking this short more so specifically on my lower body days when I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of deep squats and different forms of variations of like going laterally, forward, backwards and whatnot with the sled, doing caustic squats and stuff like that. The shell moves really well and it gives you a nice level of stretch. So I don't think mobility and stretch in the short will ever be an issue for most individuals. The second reason why I like these shorts and why I have been rocking them on more of my lower body focused training days is the liner in these feels really good. So if you're somebody that likes a liner in your shorts but you don't like anything that's too snug or like too brief like, like in the Viore core shorts, I feel like this short does a really good job at like walking that in between. With this compression liner, it locks things down so I don't think the boys are gonna be jiggling around while you are training and that's why I've liked them. They haven't been an issue with cleans and whatnot, but it also doesn't feel super restrictive. So for example, if I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop for a few hours and then go hit the gym, I'll rock these because they're pretty comfortable. They don't feel overly restrictive because I don't really love sitting in like super tight compression shorts all day if I can avoid it. So I feel like this short does a pretty good job at fitting bigger thighs a little bit better or at least guys with more meat on their thighs while remaining pretty comfortable and secure so it does a pretty good job in that context the third pro that i have with this short is the pocket so i like the deeper pockets in this short they're great for storing your belongings so once again if you want to rock this short out and about casually or if you want to bring your belongings with you in the gym so if you're in a commercial gym and you want to store your like airpods case and your phone these pockets are deep enough to do so you also have a back zip pocket back here which is pretty great for storing your wallet if you're going to rock these casually. I do wish I had gone with a darker colorway though because these shorts do get really dirty really fast. They're white shorts. But that said, I still will rock these on a day-to-day -day basis and I've enjoyed their overall comfort for the most part. Plus the shell does have a nice wispiness to it when you're outside so that's also a perk of this short. But now let's talk about a couple of cons that I have with the Built Active Plus shorts. All right, so two cons that I have with the Built Active Plus shorts is number one, they are not the most breathable shorts. Now I have the liner version and while this liner I think does a really good job with security and just general comfort, it does trap in heat a little bit more. The base of these shorts is polyester, so they are gonna be a little bit heavier. And so for example, if you're doing a cross training session in a hotter gym, I have noticed this short to run a little bit hotter than some of the other pairs I'll typically rock, like the Pace Breaker short, and even the Interval short, which isn't also the most breathable short on the market. The second con that I have with this short, and you know what's funny, this is something that I didn't necessarily blatantly notice until it was said on my Interval short review video, is that one of the guys who follows the channel had mentioned like the waistband is itchy. And you know what? I literally can't not focus and feel that now when I wear this short. And I think why that is is because with the internal waistband of this short here, you have these rubber overlays and then you have this dual stitching. And then you also have like this hemming that isn't the softest and it does itch. And it took me a while to actually pick up on this, but now I can't like unfeel it. And I feel like I've almost had my reality shattered there, but the waistband is kind of itchy. Now, what I have noticed with this though, is after you've worn these for like one or two sessions, because I will wear these for two to four sessions, depending on how much I'm sweating before I actually throw them into the wash, it doesn't itch as much. I feel like it's just post wash kind of thing, but that is definitely something to think about with these shorts. The third con that I have with these shorts is I don't necessarily love the drawstring on the waistband here. So with this drawstring, it runs pretty dang long. And so with this short, like it fits me really well, but I do have to crank the waistband pretty tight if I want to make sure they're super secure on my hips. So what ends up happening then is you have this super long waistband that ends up getting hung up on stuff or it kind of like pokes out of your shirt. So definitely not my favorite feature as well. It'd be cool if they turn this internally, but with how it's constructed right now, I'm actually really curious how that would even be possible or done. But now let's talk about the performance of the Active Plus shorts. All right, to break down the performance of the built Active Plus shorts, I'll discuss how they perform for lifting, cross training, short runs, and daily wear. In the context of lifting, I have thoroughly enjoyed these shorts and that's for two reasons. Number one, I like the four-way stretch shell. The shell is very mobile. It has never been an issue for me for my training. No matter what type of workout or what type of strength exercise I was doing, this never has been an issue. So whether I was doing half field squats and squatting super deep, deadlifting, etc., I have enjoyed this shell for the most part. It has never felt limiting, which I'm a big fan of. I do not like when my gym shorts ride up my thighs, especially with the shell and then like the liner gets caught up and you have like these awkward materials to kind of navigate and pull down. I, I, I despise that. These shorts haven't had that issue. And I also like that they are a little bit bigger regarding their volume through the shell for meatier thighs. The second reason why I like this short for strength training is it is a little bit heavier. So I don't think you're gonna have an issue with this short when it comes to like barbell rub, for example, when doing weightlifting movements, so like the clean and jerk and snatch. And I like that it never really gets hung up, speaking to that first point, so it always falls down the 
leg as well. Having a slightly heavier shell with a little bit more volume, it keeps a short laying more true, which is great when you are focused on just lifting and you don't want to necessarily have to keep adjusting your shorts throughout your workout. Now I will say this is a heavier short once again. So if you do train in very hot commercial gyms, definitely keep that in mind because this short will trap in some heat, especially if you go with the liner option, which is what I prefer and what I use. For cross training, the short does a pretty good job. Like this short will hold its own for most cross training and CrossFit workouts. I have used them for workouts where I blend, for example, a trap bar deadlift with some broad jumps, some sled work, and then like some dumbbell snatches and like some full body circuits. Basically, I'll use these for like wads where I'm doing them for conditioning towards the end of my workout, and they've done a pretty good job. The only thing that I don't love with this short regarding its construction for cross training is the waistband. So with the waistband, it just kind of fits a little bit weird at times. And then with the drawstring as well being outward facing, that is an issue at times if you're doing burpees and whatnot and you're having a lot of impact on the front of the shorts. And if you are going shirtless, this is an even bigger issue because if you double knot it, you're going to feel that press into you. And if you're wearing a shirt, you have the rub to potentially loosen up that knot. So the short works well for cross training and CrossFit, but it's not necessarily my favorite go-to short for that context. And if I had to break down this short's performance in like kind of a nutshell between like CrossFit, cross training, and lifting, it's definitely a little bit more biased towards the lifting side of that spectrum. When it comes to short runs, I honestly don't really love this short. Like you can wear them for intervals and short runs if you just want to tack on a mile or two pre or post workout. But the reason I don't love these for runs is they can feel a little bit heavy, trap and heat. And then also that waistband, once again, it can have a little bit of itch. Thank you for shattering my reality with that note, by the way. But if you want to use these for some casual runs, you could definitely use them. They're just not my go-to if I have like a hybrid workout. Like this would not be the short that I'm wearing to go run two miles and then go lift and then go run more intervals or miles after that for that type of workout. I'm gonna rack something that's a little bit more seamless regarding its construction and a little bit lighter weight. For daily wear, I like this short. They have a nice casual look to them. And honestly, if you go with some of the darker colorways, I feel like they look even more casual. Plus with the deep pockets and the shell comfort, these do feel pretty good. Plus the liner doesn't hug so tight to where they're overly uncomfortable so for daily wear this short can be a pretty good option so I truthfully think if you want a short for just rocking casually and then going to lift in, that's where the short is going to excel the most. So when it comes to the price of the Built Active Plus shorts, this is actually something that initially drew me to this short, but they cost $50. And generally you could find coupons if you sign up for their email list, you get 20% off. So you better believe I signed up for that email list. And honestly, I will probably be using a different email when I sign up for the next list and to get more product to review. But 50 bucks for these shorts, I feel like is pretty dang fair, especially if you're gonna be rotating them with other shorts. All right, so now let's answer the question, who should buy the Built Active Plus shorts? So number one, I think if you're a guy needing a short for primarily strength training and then also rocking casually and for daily wear, this short works really well. You can also work for cross training and CrossFit once again, but this short I think definitely has a slight bias towards being better for strength training. The second context is for the guy that has slightly meatier thighs. So this short fits a little bit more loose compared to something like the interval short or even shorts from Rowan and whatnot. So if you need a short for some bigger quads, bigger glutes, this short can be a really good option to look into just because the shell stretch as well. It's heavy enough to fall down and it doesn't really get hung up nearly as much because it is a little bit more slick with its material. The third context is if you're a guy that has a want for a compression liner that's not so compressive and so tight and you don't want a true brief that is super lightweight and super wispy, that's where this short I think can excel if you go with the lined option. This compression liner does a really good job at like walking that fine line between being super compressive and then also being just way too loose for wanting it for training. Now, who shouldn't buy this short? Number one, I think if you want a short primarily for CrossFit or running or any form of hybrid style workout, I feel like the short will feel a little bit too heavy at times. And then lastly, if you're very particular on your waistband and you like more minimalist waistbands or waistbands that fit a little bit flatter on the waist. So this is where I do think the interval short takes the edge over this short is the waistband of this short with its scratch and also with, with its bulky feel and with this internal drawstring here and you, how you could feel that at times. It's not my favorite waistband. And so if you're very particular on that with your shorts as well, that would definitely be something to consider with the Built Active Plus short. All right, so in the Built Active Plus short, I went with a large. I have a waist that sits right around like 32 inches. And now with the large, it's suggested that it's gonna fit best for 31 inch waist. However, with this waist, this is definitely a waistband that I have to use a drawstring every time I train. Otherwise, when I go into a deep squat, you will be seeing the buns with this short. And so that said, I think 
If you are a guy and you are in like between the waistband sizes and you typically have to crank your waistband really tight in your traditional training shorts that you currently wear, you might wanna consider going down a size in the short. And now more specifically, let's say you have like a 30 inch waist. I would say instead of going up to a large for a 31 inch waist, I would say go down towards the medium at 28 inches. I think that'll give you a more true fit with the waistband. And I don't think you're necessarily gonna lose out on the volume of the shell. That wraps up my review of the Built Active Plus shorts. Honestly, these shorts have been pretty sweet. I really like the lined iteration and I definitely am gonna pick up some linerless options soon too because I like how the shell feels and I see it as a really good like daily driver short for more casual wear. I don't know if I'm gonna wear the linerless to the gym because I don't really love separate compression liners with my training shorts. That's just a me thing. But I will pick up some soon so definitely stay tuned for that and if you have additional thoughts on this model and if you wanna know like what size you should go with, if it works for your style of training, let me know in the comments below and I can help you accordingly. But that said y'all, drop a like in the video, Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.